It's the battle of the Kardashian Jenner swimwear brands. I feel like I've just lied this wow. entire time. This is a big deal. Run, don't walk to buy this. The Kardashian Jenner fam has never been more on top of their game. They are everywhere. From makeup to swimwear and to literally everything in between. So today we are going to be diving in to Kim, Chloe, and Kylie's swimwear brand to decide once and for all which brand reigns supreme. And we've tried other brands. We've never tried Good American, so that's a first yes, on this first. on this swimwear journey. So to make the playing field uh, extremely fair, we are going to try both a one piece and a bikini from each line. So we can really, really compare everything about those pieces to each other. Yep. And then we will give an overall rating of each suit between one and five, and we are just gonna keep score, and that's how we're gonna decide who, who comes out on top. This is a big deal. This is a, this is like the most math we have ever done in an episode. So much math. I don't know if I think about it long enough, I could cry a Bible. All right, well, it's time to start the battle. But before we do, Drew, yeah. you smell so good. It's almost annoying how good you smell right now. Right? Okay, thank you, Sinead. But for that, I have to thank the sponsor of this video, Scentbird. Yep, that's right. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service, you guys. And it allows you to choose a designer fragrance every single month for only $17. You guys know, I don't like to leave my house. <laughs> so the idea that I can just shop at home, it's great. Mm -hmm. They have over 600 designer brands to choose from, including perfumes, mm -hmm. colognes, and unisex options. There's something for everybody. Yeah, and honestly, you guys, the Scentbird subscription is super flexible. So don't even worry. You can skip any month without any penalties. Or if you wanna try multiple scents, if you're like me and have to have multiple perfumes <laughs> available to use at all times, you can actually upgrade as well to receive two to three products every single month. One of the coolest things about Scentbird is the way it comes when it is delivered <gasps> to you. It comes in this really cute, super chic, travel-friendly vial, which is so important because have you ever had perfume taken away from you at the airport? Yes. It is traumatic. Tragic. It is absolutely dramatic. Uh, and honestly, you guys, this is a 30-day supply of your fragrance, which Dude. is really like another great feature because you can try out the perfume before committing to a full-size bottle. Um, Can we talk about, you guys know that I love pink. This is everything, and I am such a big fan of packaging. So, yeah. Bird, you did that. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into the fragrances that we chose. I am so excited because speaking of pink, I chose pink sugar. But mm -hmm. first of all, I wore pink sugar for probably like the first 10 years of my life. Mm -hmm. Like, this was my go-to fragrance. So when I saw that Scent and Bird had it, yeah. I was like, oh, done deal. I have to get it. So it has like, has scents of like bergamot and and strawberry and sugar, mm -hmm. cotton candy, vanilla. Yeah. Like I, those are the type of candles I love. So that's why I gravitate to this fragrance so much because I like to smell like a dessert. So I picked uh, Gucci Bloom by Gucci. This Ooh. is a, a perfume I actually have never owned. Oh wow. Gucci Bloom is a little bit different and I like that. It's really unique. It's got like jasmine, rangoon, tuberose. Mm. And, you know. Let me smell, let me smell. Oh yeah. But another amazing Scentbird feature is if you are new to the fragrance world and don't know what kind of smell you want, you can take Scentbird's fragrance quiz that can help you find a smell you will love, which is so clutch. Oh. So if you guys are interested in trying Scentbird, make sure to click the link listed down below. And then of course, use our code, which is CSTYLE, mm -hmm. for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. And Yo. that's only $8 for your first month. That is a steal. So steal. make sure you copy and paste that code Mm -hmm. We also want to tell our friends to the north that Scentbird is now available in Canada. Yay! First up, we are in Good American from our girl Khloe Kardashian. Good American has a plethora mm. of options to choose from when it comes to swimsuits. She has over 23 different one pieces, bikinis. That's also, a lot. That's so much. Yeah. And also like the, the size range is insane. Extra small to 5XL, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I personally really love this. And you know how I feel about one pieces. I usually don't really like one pieces, but this is so cute in the color. It's yeah, the so color is so nice. So this is the lounge one piece. It's $85. Uh, I think it's funny that it's the lounge because it is giving me the wedgie of... You can taste it. Yes. Oh, come on. 
We've never tried Good American before either, so in going into it, I really didn't know what to expect because Skims and Kylie Swim are just complete opposites. Yeah. This is really nice. This is really, really nice. It's yeah. not as compression as Skims, but it's definitely way more coverage and like normal human <laughs> material. <laughs> material than Kylie. So I actually think this is a really great option, but yeah. I will say the thing that I really like about this is the strap. Love the strap. The strap is really nice. They are adjustable as well, but I like how thick it is. Personally, I don't necessarily like this type of plunge. I like plunge, but I just don't necessarily like how what it does to my boobs, you know? My boobs aren't that big, so I just kind of feel like they squash down when mm. I every time I adjust it. Yeah. But I do like how high it comes up. It's very like yeah. 80s. Okay, ratings time. <sighs> Do I, I don't want to start off with a five because I feel like that I don't have anywhere to grow from there. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I'm going to give a good American a four with this one piece. I'm going to give this like a three and a half. I think if you are less endowed like myself, <laughs> Um, that plunges are just really hard, you know? So far, I'm pretty impressed with this material overall. We're starting off on a good note. Good note. So we are back in the Good American two-piece. We are wearing the Tiny Ties top and the Tiny Ties bottom. So they do come separately and they are $49 each. Again, the material here is just, it's material. just, you know what? It's is good. Excellent. It's it so is. soft. It yeah. just really feels so nice. I think this one feels even better than the last one. I mean, maybe it's because it's barely there. Oh You're doing program. amazing, push this, sweetie. Push this knee out. The only thing that's difficult with like a string bikini in this material is when you're tying specifically the top yes. because you're you're combating weight, right? Yes. <laughs> because of your boobs yes. and it just keeps slipping. So I had to tie it a couple times, but a minor inconvenience mm -hmm. for a buttery soft yeah. string bikini. I don't necessarily go for bathing suits like this, you know? A poom loincloth? Yeah, the, the loincloth look. <laughs> I just don't, I've never been a huge fan of it, but I do like, this one's a little bit more subtle. So if you're like me and you're not like necessarily into it, but you still like the way how high it comes up and yeah. how revealing it is, because you don't want tan lines or whatever. That part. Then this is a, this is a good option. I really like this mm -hmm. and it's it's comfortable and I, I really don't feel like I'm wearing anything. No, but it's true. I think that even, just the material itself. I don't know if I've ever felt a material like this in yeah. a bathing suit. You're not gonna go deep sea diving in this bathing suit. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to give the Good American Bikini a five because I love bikinis. Mm -hmm. I love the material of this. This is the first bikini I've had that has like the scrunch poom loin cloth situation and I'm here for it. Yeah, I like this so much. The fact that I have never, ever, ever thought about buying the loin cloth hammock situation <laughs> style and and I really like this. I think I'd have to give it a five too. If you're into the style especially, I'm not even kidding, it's like good. run, don't walk to buy this. I'm very impressed with Good American. Yeah. This is my first time trying on their swimsuits mm -hmm. and I like I didn't know what to expect because we've tried on Kylie, we've tried on Skims. Skims was great, Kylie was, you know. Yeah. But like this is, this is, this is legit. Good. Hashtag oh Okay, we are back in Kylie Swim. This was a controversial episode mm, because mm -hmm. you guys were up in arms. <laughs> I mean, honestly, <laughs> about our review. The internet was up in arms the second Kylie Swim dropped. Yeah, true. And the second review started dropping as well. So Drew is wearing the Caicos one piece, mm -hmm. and it's one of only what four one pieces that she had. She had four a very small yeah. selection. We actually could not get our hands on this one piece again. Still sold out. Because it's just sold out. I have no idea if she even ever plans on re-releasing, but Probably the selection itself was already so small. It was small, just like the material mm -hmm. that's covering my body. So last time we were talking about how it's basically a vagina thong. Mm. We weren't crazy about the material, and we said that it wasn't really functional for swimming. Now right. it's interesting because putting it on again, I agree with all of those things, but I, like it? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's weird, but I agree. And I say it, I say it I, with hesitancy because the internet is scary. I know, yeah, I already know you guys are like, eh, eh, eh. listen, this is my opinion, <laughs> and I like it. I prefer the material of Good American mm -hmm. for sure. Like the material, they dropped the ball on this, but I think the styles were like 
different and cool. And yeah. yes, it's very niche for like someone who is not necessarily gonna go swimming, but just maybe wants to like look cute by the pool, take pictures, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. we'll just chill, you know? Yeah. We are going into our first actually real summer out. Mm -hmm. And I think our mindsets are a lot different. And I think these colors, as much as we had things to say about them, these colors we always loved. Even the first yeah. time we filmed them, it yeah. just screams summer. It screams like fun. You look like you're right. ready for like a, like a party. I just, I love it. I am honored. Okay, so last time we both rated Kylie Swim a three, mm. but now after just putting on Good American, oh, ooh, this is that's tough, so right? hard. Yeah, I feel that for me personally, because I like having the variety, even though this material isn't as good. I like that it's different, so I'm going to give it three and a half. I'm gonna give it a three and a half now. So fair, I have, I've fair, fair. raised it a half. Listen, if I gave the good American a three and a half, I would have to give this one a three and a half too. Because I like the way that one felt. Wow. This one just looks, it looks so it looks good. good. Yeah, it, it looks, looks so good. good. All right, this bikini looks a lot like the good American bikini we tried on. Groundhog's Day. But this is the Kylie bikini top and bottom, also sold separately, has two color options for you. And they're $40 each, so they are $18 cheaper overall mm -hmm. than the Good American set. But I will say, I think for $18, you get a lot more yeah. with the Good American in terms of quality. Yeah, the quality is definitely different because essentially they're basically the same swimsuit. It's the mm -hmm. same bikini, it's the same color. Mm -hmm. They're both like stringy, you know? Yeah. The difference, like Kylie has adjustable bottoms, which, which I remember nice. we loved yeah. last time. I remember really loving this when I first put it on, but now after just putting on the Good American one, I like that one better. Yeah. Just because mainly the material and I the, like the buttery softness of it all, and it's mm -hmm. just being like a, a better quality. Yeah. Um, I will say this adjustable size is a really nice touch. It is. And out of all of the Kylie suits, this one is definitely the most versatile, uh -huh. but I still think it is a little bit on the itty bitty side. But yeah, I think that the quality of the Good American one is just so good. If they didn't, if they had just a straight like bikini like this without the scrunchy scrunches and the Good American. And you'd be sold. Oh my God, I would literally be like running out of here right now with that bathing suit because I'd be desperate to put it on. All right, so last time I actually gave this a five. Wow. Which makes sense because as soon as I put it on, I was like, oh, I like this. Yeah. I think it's, I'm such a plain Jane when it comes to bikinis. Mm -hmm. I like it to be like, what you see is what you get. And mm -hmm. sizing up really like, was the cherry on top, so yeah. I think I would keep my same rating and give this a five. This I, is a good bathing suit. Okay, so last time I gave this a four, I agree with that. But after trying on the Good American one, I think I'm gonna put this one down to a three and a half. Wow! <gasps> I know, because I still like this one, so yeah. that feels so harsh, but, but you I also like love the better. hammock style, too. Yeah. And so I think the Good American one just hit every single box for yeah. you. Okay, we have come to the skims round, which is the latest. Kardashian bathing suit installation. <laughs> so we didn't try this bathing suit on though when we did our review. Um, and I'm so happy that we get to try it on now because oh my God, it's so cute. So Kim has six different one pieces and she has four different bikini like mix match options. They range in sizes from extra, extra small to 4XL and this is $88. Which, you know, I think bathing suits are just expensive. I, 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 I always find myself like trying to critique the fact that bathing mm -hmm. suits are always so like pricey, but yeah. whatever, it just is what it is. They're all like that. I haven't found one that's, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not. I personally like this. And again, like I said, don't usually like one pieces, but I think this is really sexy, the cut of it. I like how high it goes up on the hip. My only reservation is I don't like the color that I'm wearing because I feel like it just looks like undergarments. I don't think it looks like undergarments, but I totally know what you mean. Cause you know? it's, it's a, it's cl it's like almost that color. Like if this was my skin color, then I would be like here for it. Yes. But like this, this color just makes me think of hosiery. I cannot leave the house without Spanx. I'm obsessed with this bathing suit. It makes me think, I have literally just been lying the entire episode because if anything deserves the <laughs> highest rating, it is this one piece. It she is likes it. incredible. I love it, especially for somebody with smaller boobs too. It's still revealing, but it's not that plunge where you have to worry about it like just kind of looking like you're wearing a bathing suit that's too big for you. Mm. This is like really flattering. You guys know I love this color. Yeah, I love that color too. It's this charcoal slate color. <laughs> <laughs> it goes without saying, that this is a five for me. Wow. If I could give it 
a six, I would. Is this your second five? Yeah, and I feel like I've just lied this wow. entire time. Like, I feel like I've just been <laughs> lying. Okay, this is why I'm conflicted, guys, because the Good American one piece, that blue, was so pretty, right. and I also really liked the cut of that one, and the material was really nice. Ah, shoot! Okay, I gave that one a four. I gave that one a four. I'm gonna give this one a three and a half. Me and the three and a half. I think it's because I just haven't been like in love mm -hmm. yet, you know? Yeah. Oh, I feel sad. So we are in the Skims two piece set. We are in the bikini top and a biker short because if you guys have ventured onto the Skims website lately or five seconds after it dropped, yeah. it is impossible to get your hands on the bikini bottom. So it's really hard to compare. We understand that these are completely different styles, mm -hmm. but it's just not doable, okay? Skims swim was just that popular. I was wearing that color or a lighter color originally when I, we tried this on, and I think wearing it in black, because I remember last time I said that it, it just gives me workout wear vibes. Mm -hmm. The black is just really hitting gym home. Oh, to absolutely. Me. Like, I don't feel like I'm wearing a bathing suit at all. Mm -hmm. I could literally wear this to the gym, which could say you could say that it's versatile. You know, you could yeah, like for sure. you can go grocery shopping, whatever, also get into the pool. It's a cool alternative yes. option for someone who wants a little bit more coverage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean I I think that was our big takeaway. We kept saying how cool it was that a style like this existed and it was totally. really modern because you, when you want a style like this, you don't have a lot of options mm -hmm. and usually, no offense, they're a little bit more maternal. Yeah and just like granny style. Mm -hmm. And I also remember really liking the fact that you don't have to worry about shaving if you don't want to. Uh, you're asking a lot to shave down there. Rating, I gave this a four last time. Because of the color alone, I'm going to give it a three and a half. Yeah. <laughs> because I really like the color that I wore last time. I think that for this suit, Ooh, I gave it a four top and a three and a half bottom. Mm -hmm. I think that now seeing how nice it was to have options to adjust here and there. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'll put this at a, I'll put this at a three and a half too. I, what's weird is I didn't like the shorts that much, but I liked the top. And now I think I would choose the shorts over the top. Okay, so it's not the end of the world. Okay. The moment we have all been waiting for. If you've been telling at home, you might already know what I'm about to say. But with a 4.3, sister Khloe Kardashian with Good American comes in at number one. Well deserved. Well, <laughs> well deserved. deserved. All right, well, I guess that means we have to do a full Good American swim haul. If you, you know, insist, we will do Four that. Four leg. Four for leg. You.